Welcome to Beach Kids Online. This month, we're gonna be talking all about this or that and which direction our lives should go. My name is Courtney. Can you tell me your name? Whoa, those are some cool names. Yes, friends. When we come to Beach Kids Online, we do three things. Can you tell me what they are? First, we sing and dance and praise God for who he is and how he made us. Second, we hear a true story from the Bible about something God wants us to know about how we should live our lives. And third, we talk to God. We pray and we spend time in relationship with him. I think it's time for the first thing we need to do. I need you to stretch your arms out wide, shake your booties a little bit, because it's time for us to worship God together. Let's go.
love worshiping God by singing and dancing. Do you know what else I love to do? I love getting to know God's word. This month, I have a verse from the Bible for you. Did you bring your pretend Bibles with you today? Oh, if you did, I want you to pull them out with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Whoop, there it is. Let's open it up together. Uno, dos, tres. Okay, I need you to flip to the back of your Bibles today because our verse is from the New Testament. Are you ready for what it is? Okay, I'm gonna do it all together and then I'll teach you. This is our verse this month. It says, God knows everything. Isn't that so fun? Let's do it together. Put your hands up high in the sky and I want you to say, God. Good job. Let's put our hands on our head and say, knows. And then we're gonna shake our head like this and say everything. Oh, perfect. All right, let's do it all together on the count of three. One, two, three. God knows everything. He does know everything. He knows what's best for you and he knows what's best for me. All month long, we're gonna hear stories about people that God knew what was best for them even when they didn't know what was best for them. So today it's time for us to go to the clubhouse and hear a true story about someone that God knew something about that they didn't know their own thing about. So are you ready to go to the clubhouse? Are you sure you're ready to go to the clubhouse? On the count of three, let's call for Ollie and hear what true story he has for us today. One, two, three. Ollie! It is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. You're okay, little friend. I'll take care of you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Zoe. Today I'm playing doctor and I'm taking care of all my fluffy friends. Aw, Scruffy needs a band aid for his boo boo. Should I give Scruffy the yellow band aid or the red band aid? I use the yellow one. There you go. Your turn, Miss Callie. Uh-oh, Miss Callie, the cow has a fever. She needs medicine. Which spoon should I use for her medicine? Should I use the yellow spoon or the gray spoon? I'll use the gray spoon. This medicine will make her feel all better. Your turn, Mr. Bruce. Oh no, what happened to your fin, Mr. Bruce? Friends, do you think it's broken? We should put a cast on it. That'll make it feel better. I have a blue cast and a red cast. Which one should I use? I use the red one. There you go, that'll make his fin feel all better. Thank you so much for helping me, friends. We made so many choices. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Playing doctor's office, are you? I am, Ollie. We're making all my fluffy friends feel better. You knew what was best for your friends. It's true. And God will always know what's best for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. We've been talking a lot about choices. Should I do this or should I do that? And we've learned that God always knows what's best for us. And that reminds me of a story. Are you ready to hear it? Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox.
So today's true story from the Bible begins with a very important man who leads a lot of soldiers. His name is, drum roll please, Naaman. Uh-oh, Naaman, what, what's happening? Oh no, are you sick? Naaman was sick. He had boo-boos all over his skin and there was no medicine for it. But a girl that worked for Naaman told him that a man named Elisha could help him. Elisha loved God and he was a prophet, which means he gave people messages from God. Elisha heard that Naaman needed help. So he sent a messenger to tell Naaman to go to the water and dip in it seven times. Naaman had a choice to make. Do what God said and dip in the water seven times or keep looking for another way to get better. What do you think Naaman should do? Let's see what he does. Oh no, Naaman is walking away. He's not doing what God said. Naaman did not understand why God told him to dip in the water seven times, but Naaman's workers told him, you should do what God says. So finally, Naaman decided to trust God and go dip in the water seven times. Let's count for him. Ready? Here he goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You did it, Naaman. And look, Naaman's boo-boos are gone. Naaman learned that God knew what was best for him. And we know that God knows what's best for us too. Oh, hi, Ollie. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. That's the truth, friends. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God knows what's best for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Naaman listened to what God said, and God made Naaman feel all better. God knew what was best for Naaman, and God knows what's best for us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! I know! Let's look for more stories in the Bible. I'll see you next time! Even when we're not sure what to do in our life, God always knows what's best for us. We can trust Him no matter what. When I want to know what to do in my life, I talk to God. So I think we should talk to God together so he can tell us what to do. So let's put our hands together. I'm going to close my eyes and bow my head so I can focus on talking to God because I love him that much. Let's talk to God now. Repeat after me. Say, dear God, help me to know which way to go and how I can honor you. We love you, God. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, friends. God's gonna help us know whether we should go this way, that way. But what I do know is that today, it's time to say goodbye until next time. We'll see you later, friends. Goodbye. All right.